The Sony FX8 has emerged as one of the most talked about cinema camera rumors of 2025, and it's not hard to see why. If these leaks prove accurate, Sony is preparing a full-frame cinema camera that pushes resolution, creative flexibility, and future-proof capabilities to new heights. Unlike the FX6 or FX9, which have been more compact, self-contained solutions for professional videographers, the FX8 appears to target productions that demand extreme image fidelity and maximum post-production versatility. Its rumored 12K class sensor and dual-format design signal that Sony is aiming to redefine what filmmakers expect from a full-frame cinema camera. Central to the FX8's rumored appeal is its full-frame 12K sensor, delivering around 96 million total pixels. This massive resolution promises unprecedented creative freedom for filmmakers. With the ability to downsample to 8K or 4K, the camera could produce cleaner, sharper footage, making it ideal for high-end productions, VFX heavy shoots, and projects where precise post-production control is critical. Additionally, the FX8's dual-format approach, supporting both full-frame and Super 35, would provide cinematographers with the depth of field flexibility and framing versatility needed for both classic and modern cinematic aesthetics. Internal recording is expected to rely primarily on Sony's ZAF codecs, supporting 8K at 30fps and 4K at 60fps. While this covers most standard shooting scenarios, the FX8 seems designed for filmmakers who already have access to external recording solutions. Rumors suggest 16-bit RAW output over SDI, with high-speed capture options, including 3.8K RAW at up to 120fps. By offloading the most demanding recording tasks externally, Sony may strike a balance between practical day-to-day -day shooting and ultra-high-quality workflows for productions that can handle the heavy data load. The FX8 sensor is more than a resolution milestone. The 12K pixel count enables significant downsampling benefits, improving image quality at 8K and 4K output while providing exceptional flexibility for stabilization, reframing, and compositing. Super 35 shooting modes complement this by preserving classic cinematic depth of field control and lens compatibility. The trade-offs of a high-resolution sensor, such as readout speed, heat management, and enormous data files, appear to be mitigated by Sony's rumored high-speed readout system, though some reliance on external recorders seems unavoidable. When comparing the FX8 to Canon C50, the difference in design philosophy becomes evident. Canon C50 is a compact, video-first cinema camera with a 32-megapixel full-frame sensor, offering robust internal recording options, including 7K RAW at up to 60fps and 4K at 120fps. Dual-pixel AF2, cinema raw light, and dual-base ISO make it a self-contained, practical solution for small crews or solo operators. By contrast, the FX8 prioritizes extreme resolution and post-production flexibility, appealing to larger productions and VFX-heavy projects that can handle external recording and high data throughput. While the C50 is about internal convenience and straightforward workflow, the FX8 seems aimed at pushing image quality to the limits. Fujifilm's GFX55 cinema camera provides another interesting point of comparison. The GFX55 uses a medium format sensor to deliver exceptional dynamic range, tonality, and Fujifilm's celebrated film simulation color science. Its internal 8K recording, combined with the medium format aesthetic, appeals to filmmakers prioritizing unique color rendering and image character. The FX8, with its 12K full-frame sensor, offers more resolution and a more flexible lens ecosystem while retaining compatibility with traditional full-frame glass. Essentially, the FX8 emphasizes pixel count, reframing, and creative post-production potential, whereas the GFX55 emphasizes medium format look, color, and in-body workflow. The Nikon ZR further highlights the FX8's positioning in the market. The ZR is a compact, video-centric full-frame camera featuring a 24-25 megapixel stack sensor, internal red RAW recording, and high dynamic range capture, with 6K at 60fps and 4K at 120fps. Its internal RAW capabilities and compact design appeal to small teams and independent filmmakers who need high-quality footage without the complexity of external recording. By contrast, the FX8 favors maximum resolution and creative control over convenience, highlighting a clear split in cinema camera design philosophies, internal RAW and portability versus extreme pixel density and external workflow flexibility. The FX8's rumored advantages are substantial. The 12K full-frame sensor enables high-resolution capture, downsampling benefits, extensive reframing, and stabilization flexibility. 
dual format shooting adds creative versatility, allowing cinematographers to switch between full frame and Super 35 perspective seamlessly. Integration with Sony's extensive lens and monitoring ecosystem ensures that professionals can use familiar glass and accessories while gaining the benefits of extreme resolution. On the other hand, the reliance on external recorders, the complexity of managing large data files, and potential heat management considerations may limit adoption among smaller teams or independent shooters who prioritize simplicity and portability. For larger productions, the FX8's rumored capabilities could prove transformative. The ability to downsample from 12K to 8K or 4K offers exceptional image quality, providing cleaner footage with enhanced detail and dynamic range. Reframing, stabilization, and compositing workflows become easier and more precise, particularly for visual effects-heavy projects. The camera's dual-format flexibility allows filmmakers to maintain creative freedom and depth of field control and framing, a critical advantage for high-end cinematic productions. Smaller crews may prefer cameras like the Canon C50 or Nikon ZR, which offer robust internal RAW capabilities and a simplified, self-contained workflow. Timing is another important aspect. Multiple sources indicate Sony may unveil the FX8 at IBC 2025, following their pattern of major announcements at industry events. This would provide a clear opportunity for filmmakers, rental houses, and post-production facilities to assess the camera's specifications, pricing, and availability. Until official confirmation, the FX8 remains a high-potential rumor, but the philosophy behind the design is evident, prioritize extreme resolution, provide dual-format flexibility, and rely on external solutions for the most demanding workflows. In summary, the Sony FX8, if confirmed, represents a significant evolution in cinema camera design. With extreme resolution, dual-format flexibility, ecosystem integration, and post-production potential, it positions itself as a tool for high-end productions and VFX-heavy projects. While smaller teams may find the C50 or ZR more practical, the FX8's strengths lie in creative freedom, pixel density, and flexibility, offering filmmakers a path to the highest possible image quality. Positioned against competitors like the Canon C50, Fujifilm GFX55, and Nikon ZR, the FX8 appears to be a camera designed for those who demand maximum detail, reframing freedom, and professional-level cinematic output. If the FX8 delivers even a portion of these rumored capabilities, it could become one of the most important cinema camera releases of 2025, reshaping expectations for high-resolution filmmaking and setting a new standard for full-frame cinema cameras. By prioritizing pixel count, flexibility, and external recording workflows, Sony may once again redefine the professional video landscape, appealing to studios, VFX teams, and high-end filmmakers who require the ultimate in image fidelity and creative control.